Come, let's read together. P plus E plus M. Pen. Pen. Hi guys, welcome to another Tech Tutorials with Risa on the Resource Campus. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can easily create kids animated educational cartoon videos like what you're seeing on your screen. Now we're going to be doing all this using a free software called PowerPoint. Now if you don't know how to use PowerPoint, then do not worry because in this very tutorial, I'm going to be going through step by step so that you can easily follow through each step and create your own. So the steps are not going to be complicated and you can easily follow through. Now there are lots of videos like this on YouTube and there are channels that are dedicated on creating this type of videos and uploading on YouTube. And these channels are making huge amounts of money yearly. And if you're looking for a way to earn passive income online, then this is a great skill you can learn. And you can start creating your own videos or uploading them on YouTube and you start making passive income. Or if you're a teacher and you're looking for a great way to engage your students in class, then this is a great and fun activities that you can create and you start using in your classroom with your kids. And I promise you, your kids are going to be so engaged. They're going to love this type of uh, activities. Now, I personally use this with my six-year-old daughter. And every time she doesn't want to study or go through her uh, exercise books, what I do is I grab her exercises from her notebook and I upload them on PowerPoints because this is so editable. I just upload the exercises here and she will just get up from where she's sitting and start learning. So this is a great way to get your students or your kids engaged and also a great way for mommy and daddies to distract their kids while they do other activities. Right. So without further talking, let's get right into our laptop and let's see how we can create this type of videos. We're going to start with a blank presentation. Now put your cursor here, right click and go to layout and click blank. Next is to insert our images. And to do that, click on insert at the top, go to pictures, click on the drop down arrow, click the, this, de this device. And it's going to take you here where you can get images directly from your laptop. To add the image, tap on the image and click insert and the image is inserted. You can also get image uh, from Google directly on PowerPoint, but you need to have internet to do this. So click on insert, go to pictures. You're going to see online pictures here. When you click on it, it's going to open up this and then on the search bar type in what you need and it's google you're going to see different images from google to so insert the image tap on the image and then just click the insert button and the image is going to be inserted here but i already have some images so what i'm going to do is copy and paste my background image here then next is to just adjust it using the circles around the image use your cursor and then just drag like what i'm doing until the image is inserted properly go to picture format and click send behind, right? So we're going to send the, the background image behind like so. Next is to remove the background image of our character. Click on this, make sure it's highlighted and you're going to see picture format at the top. Now, if you don't see it, you need to make sure the image is highlighted. Click on, on the picture format on the left right hand corner, you're going to see remove background. Click on that and the image is going to turn purple. Next is to go to where it says mark areas to keep. Click on that and you can just use your cursor and start clicking on all the areas that you want to keep in the image, right? So I'm going to be, I want all of the purple color to disappear from where I want the, from this, from the hook and also from the leg so that the image comes in, appears normally. So when you are done with that, you can just click the tick button at the top or you click outside of your slide. And the section which does not have the purple color is going to appear directly on your slide like that. Now, next is to just adjust your image. Use your cursor on the, you're going to see the circles around the image drag. We're going to be doing the same for all our characters. We're going to be inserting them and we're going to be removing the background image. Right. Make sure our image is highlighted. Go to picture format. You're going to see remove background. Click mark areas to keep and just take away all of the purple color around the image and then just adjust it like this. Now I'm going to rotate this image because it doesn't look good. Now select the image and then go under picture format. You're going to see you rotate here. 
click on that and you're going to see flip horizontally the image has flipped so that's how you can easily rotate a character Now, once our characters are in here, now click on this right click on the slide and then click duplicate slide. And the slide is duplicated. And the next thing we're going to click on the first slide. This is the first, first slide. And we're going to drag out all of the characters. Now, the reason is because we want to add more transition effects to happen so that when we're going to the next slide, all of the characters will be entering this, the second slide seamlessly. So you're going to see how that looks later on. Now adjust the baby here. We want it just to appear on the first slide. And then we're going to insert a text box. So go to the top, you're going to see text box, drag it here. And now you can type in what you want. I'm going to type, hi, my name is baby Jacob. Select it. And then we're going to give it a different font. Going to look for a great font child uh, playful font okay i think copper black looks great and then change the font size like so and we're going to also change the color of the text click and click white and uh, we're going to give it a text hide uh, out outline color so go to shape format and go to text outline we're going to give it a dark outline color so that the text now look more brighter Right, so it pops out a bit more. Next, we're going to duplicate this text box by selecting it and clicking Control D on the on your keyboard to duplicate the text box. And then next, just adjust it like this. And what we want to do is to add animation, right? I'm going to first of all change the text and write "Meet my friends" so that. Uh, when we're going to the next slides of course the, the, the character is introducing the other characters so again i'm going to be giving animation to the first text box i like this and go to animation so we're going to give it the appear animation right and then next go to where it says on the far right corner you're going to see animation pane click on that and this is the animation for our first text box click on that drop down arrow click on effect option now this is where you can further edit your animations now we're going to make sure that the text appears words by words and the delay time for each word is one second now once that is done click ok right so the text as you can see is appearing words by words and the delay time for each for the subsequent text is just one second right so we're going to do the same animation for the next um, text box so we're going to copy this animation just highlight it and go to animation painter here when you click on that you have already copied that animation then just click on the next text box right so it has exactly the same animation and when you go to the animation paint uh, pane you're going to see that it this is the animation for the next text box so you cannot work on this separately so what we want to happen is that the second text should uh, come in only after the first one is done right so we're going to give it start after previous so this second text box or the text is going to appear only after the first one all right so let's take a look at how it's going to look like but before we do that we need to add more transition effects to both our slides and to do that you're going to press down the shift key on your keyboard and then just tap on the two slides select the two slides like this and then go to transitions at the top and then click morph and it's going to add more, the morph effect is going to affect the two slides. All right, so let's look at this uh, the slideshow. Come down here, bring your cursor down. You're going to see this icon. Click on that, and you'll be able to see a slideshow of how your presentation is looking like. All right, now you can see that the second text is appearing too early and what we need to do is to delay the, uh, the the appearance of our second text so what you're going to do now is make sure to highlight the second uh, text box and go to animations and we're going to go to the delay option here and increase the delay by let's say one or 1 1.5 seconds right so we're going to leave it like this and then now let's go back to our presentation and then let's see how the slideshow is looking like
all right so you can see that our animation and our transition is looking perfect now we can go to the next step and the next step is to add the name of our characters so to add a name we're going to go to insert and get the text box here and then just draw and then type in the name i'm going to type in ladybug first and then we're going to change the color select the entire text go to under home we're going to go click here and change the color and of course go to the fonts and change the font and if you like you can also change the size i'm going to bold it up here and i'm also going to add like an outline so that the text pop out a bit make sure the text is selected go to shape formats and we're going to see text outline here and we're going to give it like a darker outline so this looks i think this is better and the next thing to do is to add animation to the text now make sure this text is highlighted or selected like this and then go to animation we're going to give the appear and entrance animation next just select it and then we're going to duplicate this text box highlight it like that and then click ctrl d on your keyboard and then just adjust it like this and then change the name the character we're going to do the same for each of the other characters and then we can get back to the video so if you take a look at the right uh you're going to see the animation pane already here and you can see the animations for each text uh text box now we need to make sure the text now comes in order right so we're going to delay the subsequent text after ladybug and to do that we're going to start with Kadnawa. and to do that we're going to go to the text box make sure you highlight it like this just tap on it and it's going to highlight the, the animation click on the drop down arrow and we're going to give it start after previous right so we're going to do the same for each of the other text box start after previous so that the text can only appear only after the other one has already appeared you can also delay the time of the animation um you can go to make sure you select the and uh, the text box and then you can go to delay on the animation you can go to delay and then add like give it like one second delay or two seconds delay now it all depends on how you want your animation to come to look like right so you can delay the animations for each text like that and we're going to be giving it like a yeah 0 0.75 seconds and also add in the text i'm just going to add in like okay come let's read together and then you can add in animations like it all depends on what you want and just adjust it add in your animation and again you can delay this one the text should come only after the introduction of your character and you can make that after previous and then you can also delay it a bit right so that it doesn't just appear immediately after the mouth or after the last uh, text box has appeared all right now we can start adding our exercises first we're going to duplicate this this the second slide right click and click duplicate slide and then we're going to just shift all the characters outside and then we need to also delete all the text box so that we can now start adding our exercises all right so once the slide is looking clean we're going to go to insert go to shapes and then we're going to take the rectangle with rounded colors all right so this one looks great and then just draw on your slide like this and then shift let's shift this character here and then just just this drag make it a little bit longer adjust it like so right and then on the shape format we're going to also change the shape go to shape format and then go to shape outline and we're going to give it sort of like a darker outline uh or, or right outline and then change the color the shape field which is the color of the shape give it a dark color and we can now add other shapes let's add a circle you hold down the shift key and then draw right and then adjust it make sure you adjust it perfectly and then next we're going to um change the color of our circle highlight it and go to shape format change the shape field give it a different color and also the shape outline 
and then next we're going to add in a text box go to insert and then click on text box here drag and then type in what the exercise and then select the entire text you can just click ctrl a change the color the fonts and the font size make it bigger like this and just edit and i'm going to duplicate this text box right after i'm done so now just highlight it and click ctrl d on your keyboard and then drag it down and then change the font size change the uh, font if you want and i'm just going to adjust it and put the answer here adjust perfectly all right so next we're going to add animation to our text now to animate the text select or highlight the text and then go to animation we're going to give it the appear animation and you're going to see animate animation pin appear here if you don't see it turning on there and then come here click the drop down arrow on, uh, under the animation click effects option and this is where you're going to decide how you want the text to appear so we want it to appear letter by letter and we're going to click by letter and what's the delay time for each text to appear let's say let's give it two seconds and we can now click ok and let's see how it looks All right so it gives it it gives the children enough time for them to recall the sounds of each letter All right next we're going to animate this one again select the text or highlight the text box and then on the animation we're going to go to we're going to also give it an appear animation and we can also right. add animation we can also add animation to our text now what you're going to do is still select the text highlight it and we're going to go to the top you're going to see add animation click on that and you can add in an animation i'm going to add the zoom animation so that it appears and then zooms out right and i'm also going to give another animation go to add animation i'm going to give the pulse emphasis animation so that it appears zooms out and gives it a little shake right now next is to animate the um this the shapes now i was supposed to animate the shapes first before going to the text so right now we just have to move forward now to animate the shape we're going to start with our rectangle select it or highlight it and we're going to give it the float in animation and then to the right, you're going to see effects options here. Click on that. And we're going to give it a down, float downwards so that it floats downwards like that. All right. So you're going to see the animation appears here under the animation pane. Now we need to reorder this one. Just drag and send it to the top because we want that one to appear first. And the next thing that we want to appear on our slide after the day rectangle is this text box so when you click on that you're going to see the animation here already so click on the drop down arrow and we're going to do give start after previous right so that it starts only after the previous animation and they're going to delay it by like five seconds right so the next thing we're going to do is to add animation to our circle now select the circle and then we're going to give it the wheel animation and that has to be the third thing that appears on our slide so meaning we're going to drag this animation to go to the third position so just take your cursor drag it and there it is i want that to also happen after previous after the previous animation click and go to start after previous and that should delay a bit so we're going to go to effect options go to um the timing at the top here you can now delay it click how many seconds you want it to delay before the wheel animation appears now you don't necessarily need to go to effect option you can just come here and delete the animation just like what we have been doing all right so the next is this last text box already have the animation so we can now work on it when you click on that you're going to see the entire animation selected click the drop down arrow i'm going to set that start after previous so that should start only after the circle is coming right and we can also delete it so we are, i'm going to delete it by quite a bit now let's look at the animation come here and click the slideshow and let's take a look at how it's going to look like
Okay, so I'm going to adjust this a bit, send the circle up, and then going to try to um, make sure the second animation on this text starts with previous, all right? It goes with the previous animation. That is a zoom effect and the appear effect. And this one, which is the pause effect, it comes in a little bit late. Right, so let's take a look at how it's going to look like. Now, once you're satisfied, add in your characters and adjust. And then we're going to duplicate this slide. Just right click and click duplicate slide. Now we cannot add in the other exercises without having to add, start doing the animations and transitions again. So this is an easy way to just, once you're done with one slide, you just need to copy and paste, and then you just start editing the exercises within the slide. All right, so let's take a look at how we can add in a quick interactive exercise where the kids have to click and it takes them to another slide. Now, what I'm going to be doing is to just add in a text box, write in the instruction, change the fonts, the colors. So this is the instruction. I'm going to leave this one here as an example. And then next, I'm going to come down to this circle and I'm going to duplicate the circle. I'm also going to duplicate the text and add in the wrong and correct spellings of each text i'm just editing everything so once that is done I'm going to take away all the animations on this text so select the entire text just hold down the shift key and then click, click on the text box and you're going to see the animations appear as you click right so make sure you turn on the animation pane and once that is on click the drop down arrow and click remove right so the animations are going to be deleted all right, next we're going to select the first text box, go to animation, we're going to give it the appear animation and then go to the animation pane and click the drop down arrow, we're going to give it start only start after previous, All right? So that should be it, All right? Then we're going to delete it a bit so that after the circle comes in, then the text can come in and then it's going to take some a little bit of time before it actually appears. Now, instead of adding animations to object or text individually, you can just copy the exact same animation from one text or object and put the other. Now, let's just select this text and go at the top, click animation painter and come to this text and just click and it's going to have the exact same animation. We're going to do the same for this. Select it, go to animation painter, click and then come here and then just click on the text and it has the same animation, right? So next, what we're going to do now is to duplicate the slide put your cursor on the slide and then right click and then click the duplicate option and then we're just going to delete all the elements on the slide and then next go to inserts and go to pictures go to online pictures i'm going to get an emoji right just type in emoji and you're going to get the emoji i already have one i'm going to bring it here which is the good emoji. And then I'm going to just adjust it. Next, go to insert. We're going to add an, a shape. We're going to add a rectangle shape. Click on this and then just drag and draw. And then we're going to adjust it. We're also going to change the color. Um, we're going to change the outline of, of our shape. And we're going to make the outline a little bit bigger. Go to shape outline and go to width. And we're going to just choose then send this object behind, go to shape format and send behind and then duplicate the rectangle and we're going to get a text box and just type in the text that we need. Adjust and once that is done, we're going to duplicate this slide again. Right click and click the duplicate option and then we're going to change the emoji, right? So one that when the kids get the wrong answer, it's going to take them to the slides where the emoji looks like they are crying. All right, so it's looking okay. We're going to go back to this slide. And what I'm going to do is to hold down the shift key and select the three last slides to take away the move transition effect. Since we duplicated the slides, obviously it's going to have the transition effect. When you select it, go to transition and click none, and it's going to take away the move transition effect on the three slides.
Now to have the interactive effect, now we want that when the student click on the wrong answer, it takes them to the crime emoji slide. And to do that, we're going to start with this first wrong answer click and then go to insert. And then you're going to see link here. Click on link and then you're going to see place in this document. Click there and then we're going to link that particular answer to the slide with the crying emoji, which is slide seven. So click slide seven and the correct answer. We're going to do the same, highlight the, te the text box and then go to insert, go to link and you're going to link it to the slide with the happy emoji, which is slide six. To add the next interactive exercise, hold down your shift key on your keyboard and then select the three slides and click Ctrl D to, du to duplicate the slide. And then you just need to make the necessary changes, change the text and the animations are going to be exactly the same. Now, once you have the second interactive exercise here, go back to the first one. We're going to go to the happy emoji where it says next. Now, this is the button one, one when the student click, it, it needs to take them to the next exercise. So click and go to insert, go to link, and we're going to link it to the next exercise, which in this case is slide number eight. Click OK. And the wrong emoji or the crying emoji, when it says try again, it should take them, take them the student back to the previous exercise, which in this case is slide number five. Right? So click slide five and then click OK. Right. So we have linked all of them. So you need to do the same for all the subsequent interactive uh, slides exercise. All right. So that is how you can easily link the slides within your PowerPoint presentation so that when a student click and it's going to take them to another slide and vice versa. All right. So let's see how we can add maybe like a math question into our exercise. Now we are going to still be using a text box to add the equations. Uh, just use it and type in your numbers, adjust and add in a shape. Uh, change the color, the shape field, the shape outline, and also go to shape to add the addition. Go to shapes, and you're going to see equation here. Just click and you adjust it like that. So the different equations that you can choose from, just adjust and add the answers. You can also add a division sign. Go to shape, and we're going to take the connector elbow shape. Then just draw change the shape outline to white and then make it a bit bigger using the width and then adjust using the yellow dots as you can see and i just keep adjusting till it looks perfect so that's another trick as to how to add the division sign since the division sign is not going to be amongst the other equations symbols all right so if you want to know how to turn this into a video i'm going to leave the link of the tutorials in the description box or you can just check it up here and click and you'll be able to watch the video next step after exporting your video is to add voiceovers and background music first up we're going to get a non-copyrighted music and the best place is to get it from youtube audio library so open up your channel and go to the youtube studio and once it's open up, go to just scroll down and go to audio library. On the search bar, type in honey, but I'm going to be using this particular music, uh, Bonnie Hop. Now, there are so many different kids' music that you can get from each uh, audio library, YouTube audio library, but I'm going to get this one right now. And to download it, you can just bring your cursor you're going to see the download button click and it will be downloaded and then you can now just click and save it into your your laptop all right so the next step is to go to CapCut. now this is where we're going to import all of our audios now after you're done with um, creating your 
your presentation slides you need to convert it into an audio export it as an audio and then bring it into CapCut. now to import any file go to media make sure you're under media and you're going to see the import button there since we already have our video here we're going to be importing the audio that we just got from youtube library so here is the audio click and open right so it's going to import it in here the next step is to record your voice over and right now you can see i already have a record down here i've already recorded so what i'm going to do is to just delete this one and then show you how to record come on the top here you're going to see the record button click on that and then you can press this red button and once it's at one you can now start talking you can just read what is on your slide and when you're done click the red button to stop and then when everything if everything is okay you can click the export button at the top here and your video is going to be exported and you can now upload to youtube all right guys so that is how you can easily create kids animated or kids educational animated cartoon videos i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope you liked the video and if you did please don't forget to hit the like button the thumbs up button which is the like button as well and also do not forget to subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed to the channel yet also share the video to those you know might find interest in the video and if you have any question please leave it in the comment section i'll gladly reply to all of your questions thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video